Hey, this is Grim from Grim187mods.tk, and uh, I'm doing testing on the Xbox 360 of uh, its cooling capability. Um, this is a completely stock console here, and um, I'm going to run it half an hour idle and then an hour of, um, of Forza with the uh, automated racer. And, um, I will be back after that's done to show you the temps. It's been uh, roughly 30 minutes here, and the temperature is 132 for the CPU and 133 for the GPU. And I'm going to go ahead and put in Forza now and do another hour of testing. It's been about an hour here, and Forza's been running. Uh, looks like the GPU is about 140, 141. CPU is right about 133. Alright, now I'm going to move on to the 5 volts fan mod. Let me test the air coming out the back here. Get one of the little infrared testers. Looks like the air that's coming out the back is only 116. So you can tell that air isn't doing too good. Alright, so it's on to the 7 volt fan mod. I'll be back. I thought that I had wanted to test it while it was standing up to see if there's any, uh, any truth to the matter that, you know, standing up keeps it cooler. So it's going to be going for the half an hour idle test. And I'll be back in between the half an hour in the hour test. It's been about a half an hour here. Uh, current temperature is 140 for the GPU and 132 for the CPU. And I'm going to be running the Forza test for an hour now. I'll be back when that's done. So it's been about an hour here. Uh, CPU 138, GPU 142, 141. I haven't really changed too much, that's probably because um, I didn't give it adequate time to cool down. I will now be going on to the 7 volt fan mod cooling. Um, it's at 109 and GPU is at 110. I'll be back in half an hour. Alright, I'm back. It's been a half an hour. The uh, GPU is at 115, the CPU is at 108. I'm going to run the Forza test for an hour and I'll be back. Alright, it's been an hour here. The CPU is 113. The GPU is 124. And uh, I'm going to set up a 12 volt fan mod and I'll be back. Uh, here I have a 12 volt fan mod hooked up. Uh, current temperature is 75 and GPU is 83. I'll be back in half an hour. In about a half an hour here. Uh, GPU is at 100, CPU is at 95, and I'm going to do the Forza test and I'll be back in an hour. It's been just a little bit over an hour here. Temps are pretty much the same 106 for the GPU, 98 for the CPU. Uh, I'm going to set up the 30 volt fan mod and then I'll be back. Alright, as you can hear, the, that's the 30 volt fans there. Current temperature, CPU 75, GPU 78. And I'll be back in half an hour. I decided to discontinue the 30 volt fan mod test because uh, my entire room is smelling like burnt rubber right now. Uh, the CPU and GPU have wonderful results, they're just barely above room temperature. Uh, GPU is at uh, 87, the CPU is at 85. Um, I'll be back uh, after I do the heatsink upgrade and I'll have it on. Um. Here's a general idea of what the heatsink upgrade is. See, this is uh, the stock heatsink that I took off. And there's the one that I applied, and that's sanded down to 2000. 
and again with the CPU heatsink. And then I also put the piece of white cardboard over the, the GPU there and uh, do some light masking tape around all the holes in the air duct. Alright, so I got everything hooked back up here. CPU is 80. CPU is 85. VGA is 85. Alright, I'll be back in half an hour. It's been a half an hour. I forgot to say this is the uh, fan controller test. Uh, CPU is at 130. GPU is at 141. Um, I'm going to do the Forza test. I'll be back in an hour. I forgot to set my timer so it's been a little bit more than an hour. Um, the GPU is at 158. And the CPU is at 135. So, um... I'm gonna hook up the 12 volt or the 7 volt fan. I'll be back. This is the extra hour that I let it sit. And I'm gonna go ahead and redo the fan controller test. Uh, it's currently at 90 and GPU is at 89. I'll be back in half an hour. It's been a half an hour here. The GPU is at 140. CPU is at 127. The Forza test. I'll be back in an hour. It's been about an hour here. Temps are a little bit different. Um, GPU is 154 CPU is 133 um, I'm going to hook up the 7 volt fan mod and I'll be back Turn it on 7 volt here The CPU is 96 uh, GPU is 104 I'll be back in half an hour In about half an hour here CPU is at 109 GPU is at 108 uh, I'm going to throw in four, so I'll be back in an hour. About an hour here. The GPU is about 115. CPU is about 112. We do an air test here. Looks like it's about uh, 96 degrees. Alright, I'll uh, set up the 12-volt fan mod and I'll be back. It's sufficiently cooled here. Um, GPU 98, CPU 92. Uh, I'll be back in half an hour. It's been a half an hour here. CPU is at 94, GPU is at 108. I'm going to run the Forza test, I'll be back in an hour. It's been about an hour here. The CPU is at 98. And GPUs at 115. Uh, you gotta remember these are the temps of the heatsink, so um, with the heatsink upgrade, it is of course uh, gonna be a lot hotter than without it because of the dispersion. The heat dispersion is a lot greater in between the actual processor and the heatsink. A quick idle test here um, with 30 volt. Back, uh, as soon as it starts to get to smelling bad, for about 15 minutes or so. Right, I can't take that uh, incessant loudness and uh, that reeking smell of burnt rubber anymore. The GPU is at 92, CPU is about 86, and uh, I'm going to install the custom heatsink and I'll be back.